fellow Yora homers, uh, today we're going to be doing an assembly of the Yora Draw Professional Writing and Drawing Robot. This uh, assembly will not take very long. This is actually the uh, easiest machine we have to assemble at this point. So that's the good news. Um, I have laid out all the parts on the bench. Um, we're not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to cover the mechanical assembly. I also have a laser module. I am going to demonstrate how to install that. The Yordraw can actually be used to engrave using a laser um, and should have uh, there's components to do that. So I'll cover that as part of the assembly. But to start, we'll just do the basic machine assembly and then we'll go from there. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the main body of the machine, and then you have the gantry and carriage of the machine. So if you want to start by placing the main body on a flat level surface, the guide is actually excellent, the manual is excellent in showing how to do this. Um, but the first step is to install the gantry, which this is oriented this way. This will sit on these four bolts here. There's four holes here. You simply place that on like that. Now there are four hand nuts that you then use to secure it. install those now. And again you simply hand tighten these. Okay, that's base. The basic mechanical assembly <laughs> is that. Now there are some cables that have to be connected. The stepper motors should be labeled, but I am going to switch to this camera so I can show each one. So there's X, which is this motor on the gantry. There's Y, which is this motor on the left side of the robot and then there's a Z which is on the top that's what raises and lowers the pen so you'll notice on this wiring harness um, they're labeled so you've got a little Z on the longest cable so that's going to go ahead and attach here to our Z axis on carriage then we have X, which um, is this guy on the top of the gantry. Make sure you get these right. There's like one side with this little sort of tab, and that's going to go where this gap is. All right, and that leaves Y is this one here. Now in this machine, I mean the wires pretty much line up, well at least the uh, X and Y line up where the motors are, it's really kind of hard to get that wrong. Z is the only one that's sort of at the long end of this uh, wire. This is the power button. I will re let me reorient the machine. So the power button's kind of hidden. Additionally, um, if you look at the board, which is underneath, so again, this is the power button, and the USB will plug in here, and power plugs in here. 
I won't do that, but just demonstrating where those go. Okay. Um, now, as far as the drawing robot goes, <laughs> we've assembled the machine. Um, I'll show you how to put the, the writing implement in. So you'll unscrew this screw here, and then place the screw, place the writing implement. I have it upside down. I'll take the cap off just to illustrate. But basically, you want to place this in here, and you want the end of the writing implement to be two or three millimeters off of the surface you're going to write on. And once you've kind of lined that up, I'm doing it with one hand, I'm holding the camera with the other, so that's probably up a little too high. I'll lower it a smidge. I'm not going to run this right now, so. But that's basically how it works. So it gets cradled in this metal bracket, and then this is what applies pressure to it. So I'm going to take that out. All right. Um, there are um, there's clips to help retain things. Additionally, it includes these colorful uh, clips and magnets. The magnets will stick. This is metal. So you, it's a different type of material that doesn't necessarily work with these snap clips. You can use these bar magnets and these other clips. So that's kind of what those are for. Now, if you want to use a laser with this, There's a bracket, and I'm not sure if this comes with the robot or not, but um, I'll cover the installation either way. So as always, you peel the um, tape off. both sides. There, like that. Now this bracket will actually attach to a laser. Um, if you look, there's four rectangular holes that will line up with the four holes in this bracket. So you can go ahead and kind of find that. Um, I'll switch to this camera to demonstrate. So as you can see, you know, I'll move it around so you can see. So there's holes, and it comes with two screws. So just uh, insert it, maybe at a diagonal. Doesn't really matter, but one here and one here is fine. One here and here, but just do it at a diagonal. So I'm gonna do that now.
Alright, so that secures the laser to the bracket. And then you've got um, four screws and four standoffs. I think we give you an extra in case you lose one. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to push the screws through the four holes. In the bracket. And then let me turn this machine so I can switch cameras and demonstrate this part. On the back of where the pen goes, you'll see there are four threaded holes one two three four so this is going to secure to those like this We're using the spacers in between our laser those four bolts and we're going to add spacers to them I'm going to put them on and I'll show the camera holes and I'm using a ball driver but it does come with the tools to do this this is just easier right now I'm just tightening them enough where they grab I can let go So four are attached. Go ahead and tighten them around. You don't have to go crazy. You just tighten them enough where they are. There's no wobble or like. Now the only thing left is the laser wire. Um, it attaches here and then on the control board there's a red port and it attaches there. I'm not going to do that but that's basically the installation of the laser. Um, if you want to route your wire through this wire loom, it's probably not a bad idea. So that the, um, you know, wire is out of the way. So, I would definitely recommend doing that. If the wire is too long, just kind of loop it up. But, yeah, that's basically it. So... The rest of the stuff, the software is on the USB key, this is your USB cable and your AC adapter. 
couple extra parts and your tools and some zip some tie wraps zip ties if you need them but that's it uh, that should pretty much cover the mechanical assembly of the Yora draw as always if you have any questions feel free to reach out in the group and or support hope you have fun with the machine and we'll be seeing you. Jungle.